Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's video I'm quite excited about this because usually when we're doing a live stream here on this channel you'll find me flying the Phoenix Airbus A320 alongside of course the Flyby A32NX but what has been a real game changer in the last couple of months is the release of the Mini FCU unit. Now the Mini FCU unit I'm sure most of you will already be familiar with released by mini cockpits in their Kickstarter campaign this is a physical unit that we can use to control the autopilot panel in the Airbus and it is an amazing bit of kit certainly transformed my desktop flying because we've got a physical unit and we no longer need to worry about scroll wheels and using your mouse etc however there is one downside to the Mini FCU and that is for the pilots of the Phoenix A320 and that is because due to the licensing issues the Mini FCU wasn't able to display and populate the data on the physical LCD screen showing you what values you had got set so whilst the Mini FCU unit works with the Phoenix aircraft in order to see what you are actually setting you had to look at the primary flight display or the actual virtual FCU unit in your flight deck to see the numerical values change as you twisted the physical FCU unit. However, that has recently all changed and you can now get full compatibility with the Mini FCU unit and the Phoenix A320 using a little workaround which is pretty straightforward to set up and it means that you're able to use your Mini FCU and see all of the correct values working fully together. So we're going to have a look at setting that up and I'm going to take you through how to do that in this video. So before we go any further then there are three things that you're going to need to download. All of these are linked in the video description down below but you need to download a copy of Moby Flight, you need to download a copy of Phoenix Quartz and you need to download the Mini FCU Phoenix A320 configurations for Moby Flight. Now again I've linked all of the download pages in the video description down below so you're able to go and grab those with ease. Once you've got those three things downloaded it's time to start setting them up. First thing we're going to do is run Phoenix Quartz. Now it'll obviously ask you maybe the first time you run it if you want to let Windows run it we'll just set accept and then just change the settings as shown here on screen you want to change it to auto start with Microsoft Flight Simulator and change configuration to raw value LVAR mode which is uh, just down at the very bottom so there are the two settings and once you've done that you can hit install and then realistically we'll never have to touch Phoenix Quartz again after this because it will start automatically when we launch Microsoft Flight Simulator. The next step then is to install and run Moby Flight. Now if you've never used Moby Flight before don't let that put you off. I am not familiar with Moby Flight in the slightest yet I can still get it to work perfectly with the Mini FCU and do everything it needs to. So let's run this and show you how we set this up. As I did just there first time you run it just press cancel on those first two uh, items that it asks you about. Once Moby Flight is running then go to where it says extra and then click the settings tab. Once this is opened locate the little tick box which says automatically perform retrigger action with run mode and you need to make sure this is unticked so get rid of the tick in that and then the next thing you need to do is go up to where it says beta versions and tick the box that says yes I would like to receive beta versions updates. After that's done click OK to exit the menu and then go to help and check for updates and it's going to magically find a beta version for you to install and use. If at any point Mobifly asks if you want to install the Mobifly WASM module for Microsoft Flight Simulator then do click install now. Some of you may already have this installed but it will obviously check for it and it won't overwrite anything if you've got that installed already. And you can confirm this by going to your community folder and checking that you have installed the Mobifly WASM module. 
Now, in order for all this to work, your Mini FCU has to have already been installed properly using the original software that came with the product. However, do not run the Mini Cockpit Data Link program, which you'd normally have running when using the Mini FCU unit. MobiFlight and the original software would conflict against each other, so make sure that that is not running. Okay, so open up where it says MobiFlight Modules and the compatible module is actually your mini cockpit FCU and following the menus on screen we're going to update the firmware that only should take a few seconds once that done it should then show a nice little picture of the mini FCU unit next then we are going to upload boards default config using the button shown just here again this should only take a few seconds and once that has been completed then remember the mini fcu config files that you downloaded from flightsim.to well make sure that those have been extracted and available for you to select now there are three different ones available shown at the top of the screen here now the one that is recommended is the bottom one that is the one that will make your mini fcu unit work the most realistically in terms of how turning the dials affects how quickly different values are selected. Okay, so now go to open and from there select one of the three files. I'll just choose the first one for this tutorial. And then once that is done, go back to your MobiFlight modules and select the upload config button. Again, this only takes a couple of seconds. Once that's done, then exit the settings menu that we're currently in, go back to the main menu and press the test button. Now, if all's working correctly as it scans through the different uh, options there on screen, you can see your FCU unit should flash up as it's receiving the signals and sending the signals, etc. So that's just confirmation that we're all set up and we're ready to fly. Don't forget to hit the stop button. And then at this point, it's worth shutting down Mobify and just restarting your PC afresh. So now you're ready to use the Mini FCU unit with Microsoft Flight Simulator. After your PC is restarted, launch Microsoft Flight Simulator, but stay in the main menu. Run the Phoenix app and then launch MobiFlight and Phoenix Quartz. Now bear in mind, Phoenix Quartz should already be launched because we set it to auto launch at the start of the video when installing it. On MobiFlight, you can then click the run button and then just start your flight in the normal way. Once you've spawned in, your mini FCU unit should spring to life and it will display all of the values and work just as you would have it when it was working with, say, the Flyby A32NX or the default A320. It is now great to have full functionality in the amazing mini FCU unit in the Phoenix A320 aircraft. All of the dials and buttons work, etc. And as I press the buttons, you can probably just see them uh, depressing as well in the simulator. The only thing that you might miss compared to the default Minute Cockpit data link software is the ability to select what you'd like the expedite button to do with this setup the expedite button actually does control the expedite button in the simulator so it's one probably not used too often now it's also worth noting though once you have done this the mini fcu unit will only work with your phoenix aircraft and not any others in order to reset the unit so that you can go back to flying perhaps the a32nx then you're just going to have to reset the board that is pretty straightforward to do and all you will have to do is within MobiFlight go to your modules and because I've already reset it this looks a little bit different compared to how we did at the start of the video you would then just right click on the unit and you will be able to select the reset board it's grayed out here as I say because I've already gone ahead and done this previously but selecting the reset board then restores the mini FC unit to its default state and then what you'll need to do in the mini cockpit uh, data link software is once it's connected just hit the reset button and you are free to use it as you were before the start of this video so everyone, there you are. We now have full compatibility of the mini FCU unit working perfectly with the Phoenix A320. That of course is great news to many of you I know who loved flying the Phoenix A320 but didn't like the fact that units such as this 
didn't display all of the numerical values, particularly if you are a home cockpit builder as well. There are also other configurations available on sites like FlightSim.io which allow you to use the Mini FCU unit with the recently released Inibuilt A300 and there's also a config file on there to use it with the PMDG737. You would just use these configs and set it up in exactly the same way as I showed in this video, just selecting the relevant config file that you want to use as opposed to the Phoenix A320 config file. So, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have found this video useful. If you have, then please don't forget to leave a like and let me know how you get on using the unit now with the Phoenix A320. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos and of course our live streams. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.